Hi there. I know that jumping straight into the code may seem a bit daunting at first, but I feel that it is really important for you to have an understanding of the principles that we are going to be discussing at a granular level. Don't worry if you don't understand everything that I'm talking about straight away, because as the lectures go on, so I will cover more and more pieces of the puzzle while continually refreshing the basics. I hope that by the end of this section that you will have a healthy understanding of the differences and similarities between Python and PHP, and that you are able to apply your knowledge of WordPress to the paradigm of Django and Python. PHP is an extremely flexible coding language that shares a lot of its syntax with the coding language C. It was designed as a web-based language and by implication is easily accessible and easy to learn for anyone on the web. Python, not so much. If I had to describe Python, I would not use the word flexible, but rather robust and extendable. This is because the Python community has a very specific agenda and prides itself on doing things the right way, programmatically, as opposed to however you want. This is not to say that PHP does not do this, but it tends to be more lenient in its application than Python does. Although there are a lot of major differences between the two languages, we'll be focusing on only what is relevant to this course. For me, the big one is syntax. Syntax is basically the key semantic elements of the language that help the interpreter figure out what you as a developer are trying to say. This ranges from where your spaces and indentation are to how to recognize where a line of executable code begins and ends. If you're still not clear about what I mean here, I'm going to give some practical examples in the next lecture. See you there.